Good evening and welcome to Thai PBS World. Only a week after shooting down rumors of his imminent resignation from the Democrat Party, today Gon Jatikavanit, a former deputy leader of the party and a veteran politician, formerly left the country's oldest political party. His resignation certainly was not a total surprise, but what he plans to do next could be. Gon chose a New Year's party, thrown by Democrat members close to their former leader, Apisit Vechachiva, on Tuesday night to make known his decision. Gon did not spell out his immediate future plans, despite persistent rumors that he was in the process of setting up a new political party. In a Facebook post to formally announce his resignation today, Gon did not give any specific reason why he was leaving the party he joined 15 years ago and which served as a springboard for his successful political career. Thank you, Democrat Party, Gon began his Facebook post. He then went on to recall how he decided to jump into politics after having worked in finance for almost 20 years, ending up as chairman of JP Morgan Thailand when he was 39. I was done with making money and wanted to do the country a service. He set up the reason he joined the Democrat Party and to run in an election under its banner back in 2005. Gon said he had properly done his job as an MP by taking part in the just concluded budget debate before submitting his resignation today. In his Facebook message, Gon talked about his own political expectations. I have a dream of bringing about political changes and engaging in politics with the audacity to think and take action with judgment but without fears politics that is marked by decisiveness and integrity, politics that is inclusive for people with potential to move Thailand forward. Gon also called on politicians to always listen to the people. However, he was short of saying what he plans to do next and did not respond to a media report that he might join the Prajut government in some capacity. Gon bid a tearful farewell to his Democrat colleagues during the party on Tuesday night. He went on the stage to serenade them with a Thai song entitled, Always Love You. After finished the song, Gon received a hug from Apisit. Conspicuously absent from the parties last night was Democrat leader Jurin Laksada Visit, who is currently a deputy prime minister in the Prajut government. Gon, who was at one point seen as a potential candidate to lead the Democrat Party and even for the premiership, has been keeping a rather low profile since the party's humiliating defeat in the March election. Despite speculation that he would be nominated for a portfolio in the post-election Prajut cabinet then, Gon was eventually left out. He is known to be close to former Prime Minister Abhisit, who resigned as party leader in the aftermath of the March election. Abhisit was staunchly against the Democrat parties joining the Prajut coalition. Gon, who is 55, is widely reported to be teaming up with a group of political figures to set up a new political party. There is also speculation in some of the Thai media that he is considering an invitation to join the cabinet of Prime Minister Prayut Chan O Cha. A former investment banker, Gon joined the Democrat Party and became his Bangkok MP in 2005. Gon quickly rose through the ranks to become its deputy leader and in 2008 became finance minister in the Abyssin administration. Sources in the Democrat Party admitted that Gon was frustrated by how he was overlooked by the current leadership of the party after Jurin became its leader. He has hardly been consulted on party's affairs. 
and to add insult to injury. The Democrat leadership last year appointed Brin Panichapak, a businessman and a financial expert, to head the party's economic team by passing Gorn, who has always been seen as the party's most prominent economic expert. So from now on, all eyes will be on Gorn, and what he does next will certainly be closely watched. And that's all for Thai BBS World tonight. Thank you for watching. Thank you.